Three people are dead after a house fire in Waterbury. How the community is honoring their memory and keeping their spirits alive after a tragic loss. And in New Haven, a march for justice and for action. What the family and friends of Randy Cox think needs to happen to keep their nightmare from happening again. And we've got cooler air that pushed into the state overnight. We've got a fantastic weekend ahead, but I am tracking some rain as we head towards next week. All the details coming up with the early warning forecast. Eyewitness News at 5 a.m. starts right now. Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. We'll start you off with a look outside as we always do. There's our iCam over Rocky Hill and New London this morning. Thanks for waking up with us here on Eyewitness News. It is Saturday, July 9th. I'm Caitlin Nuclo. Let's head right over to Lauren Richardson. She has a check on that forecast. Good morning, Lauren. Good Looks morning, like it's Caitlin. It's going to be a nice day. It is going to be a nice day. And yesterday it was so hot and humid out yes. there. I don't know if you got outside. Oh, but today it's going to be much more comfortable and much more refreshing. So good news for those of you with outdoor plans today. We're still going to be seeing a lot of sunshine, but those dew points are going to drop gradually as we head through today. So there's going to be some relief on the way. Here's a live look in Old Saybrook this morning. That sunshine just starting to come up in the distance right over that yacht. And uh, yeah, you can see that satellite radar.